Good morning, yes. On the W9 DOR repeater located in Sebastopol in Dora County, Wisconsin, with the frequency of 147.210. This net meets Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m., also on Sunday for an informal net, all for the purpose of friendly conversation amongst all licensed amateurs. We want to say a warm hello to our listeners and encourage you to get a license to join us. Your net control this morning is Thomas, Kilo Charlie 9, Lima, November, Zulu, and I am located in Kiwani, Wisconsin. About 30, 31 degrees, a very light breeze, and mostly cloudy skies. A few quick reminders this repeater has a three minute timer, so please keep your initial transmission of the laws as limited. Longer transmissions are encouraged during the comment section. Also, listen for the reset of the repeater before beginning your transmission so it will fully reset before you begin. I will pause now so you can hear that reset. Traffic may break is at any time. I will pause now for any emergency or priority messages for about five seconds. All right, the news of the day. Uh, the James Webb Telescope has spotted a strange, ghostly-looking figure, looking face uh, that is estimated to be over one billion years old. U.S. Students Mass Corps won multiple storms coming ashore on the West Coast this week. Worldwide carbon emissions increased due to China, India, and airlines. Interesting. If you're having Windows 10 and you want to get updates past 2025, Microsoft will charge you for that. In Grand Traverse Bay in Lake Michigan, a 9,000-year-old Stonehenge-like structure has been found. Last Friday's world's biggest experimental fusion reactor is in operation in Japan. Los Angeles is the first one to build a $250,000 3D printed house. Uh, shovel once uh, the uh, snow flurry starts fluttering again. Fortunately, 
yeah, so far this year it's been just kind of uh, yeah, dusty and there's no one uh, clear off the uh, driveway and the control the border there. So everybody uh, enjoy your day. It's been a back to uh, Night Control. Appreciate you picking up the next day. Tom, KC9L on Zulu, KC9 airs, good morning off. Okay, Tom, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like it's going to be halfway decent day today. It's 
sunny-ish. There's <laughs> still much clouds out there, but at least the sun's still shining through today. <laughs> the next few days, it's supposed to be warm, which I don't have a problem with. Uh, I don't mind that at all. But, uh, yeah, I just got up this morning, had the dog follow me around. Every Wednesday, she gets to go to doggy daycare. And she looks forward to it, and for some reason, she knows what day it is. So just follow me around, all at me and everything else. But, um, yeah, not much going on here. Just I've been working on the house as usual and trying to get things cleaned up and set up and all that stuff. So, and it's good to hear everybody on this morning. So, I think, uh, who gets the next TQC? Go ahead and take it. Maybe I'll we'll see you next.
Alaska buys uh, Hawaiian Airlines, and uh, that uh, that won't take place for about four years before that happens. And uh, Trevor Jacobs is sentenced to 66 months in prison for uh, intentionally crashing his uh, air aircraft. That happened uh, a couple of years ago, and is finally coming to fruition here. The uh, Taylor Craft is the same type of airplane that I uh, used to uh, own. And uh, as for the sports dudes, as uh, Wisconsin beat Marquette on Saturday, and Wisconsin beat Michigan State last night, and now they play number one Arizona, Arizona this weekend. Kilo Alpha Niner, Bravo X-Ray Golf. This is Kilo Alpha Niner, Wisconsin Amateur Radio. Good morning, Bob. Well, good day, and it's a looking like a good day indeed. 26 or 30 degrees, uh, not bad. Hardly any wind. Had a little fire outside last uh, yesterday, late yesterday, and a whole bunch of oak that I had split up that was completely useless for firewood. So I had a pretty good stack of stuff and bark and everything else. So had a little, had a nice fire. I think most of it's gone, which is good. I hate uh, leaving a big fire or a big pile all winter long. Um, was thinking about going into town today, but I think I'll wait till tomorrow. Uh, a friend of mine is from work. He retired a year or two earlier than me. Yeah, something like that, two years earlier. He's uh, coming into town. He lives up north and he's coming into town. Oh, he decides to go out for dinner tomorrow. And at supper, we're going out with another group. So that's kind of nice to get together with him again. It's been a couple years. So uh, I've always enjoyed working with him and uh, miss not seeing him. Uh, he moved, the day he retired, he moved up north. So not too much going on, uh, just trying to keep uh, things going here, uh, cutting wood and splitting, maybe I might saw some boards today. So we'll send it over to Rick, OBB, K9, BXG. Thanks, Bob. Good morning to you and uh, good morning to all on this edition of the Good Morning Net. Uh, w9 OBB Green Bay here. And, um, I'm about to embark on a big 3D printing project here. Uh, my wife does a lot of knitting, and she has a lady that comes over oh, probably once a week or maybe once every two weeks, and uh, she is an expert at it. She has her own podcast up on YouTube, her and her sister, and um, she teaches to a lot of different things about knitting, so we really like her. And... Um, uh, she asked me if I could do some 3D printing, and um, there's one of these machines that did some kind of a winder or a sock winder for, for when you knit socks. And um, I don't know, I don't know all it is, but I know it's 30 files, so there's 30 pieces to it. And then there's um, the machine pauses that time, so you can insert uh, steel uh, bolts or steel nuts. Um, and or, and uh, so it looks like it's a challenging project, and um, they get a lot of money for these things, so um, she, was, um, she was hoping, and, and I know it's a lot of money, but otherwise she would have bought, bought one by now, but there was uh, some fella that made up um, a 3D printed version of it, and, um, and I have the uh, files for it, so I'm going to give that a try and see how it comes out. It's, um, it's a pretty cool device, actually. you got to print gears and a uh, bunch of other stuff. So uh, I'm going to finally get started on that. I got it this past summer, and I just haven't had a chance to really get into it. So um, still have a lot of other projects going on as well, but uh, at least when the 3D printer's running, I can do a bunch of other stuff. So once I get it started, it's um, kind of just uh, sits there on its own. Not uh, in the... Um, not in the uh, uh, 
category of print, 3D printing any houses or buildings yet, but uh, uh, don't, don't count me out. Okay, over to Bruce, W9UUV, this is W9OBB. Good morning, everyone. It's good to hear everyone. And Tom, thanks for doing the net. Nice job. Over to Bruce. Kevin will tell 
tell us, um, we, if you could fly, um, you could go up the sharp hill of the quarry, the abandoned quarry, and our house is not that far inland, but it, you have to go around to uh, get to the water here. So, um, today, Josh, the uh, eighth, no, sixth day, sixth day of Jeff, um, because the warm weather's coming, today we got the replacement grill for the Weber grill, shiny silver color, and so I'm sure whatever we grill this week will taste so much better. Um, we think that it is possible, I have not replaced the top of the grill, which means it is just about 50 years old. So it was time. Um, the lower grate that holds the charcoal had um, bent and needed replacement about, you know, halfway through this. But um, it, it, it's been time, so that was kind of a fun thing. Uh, today our errands, Larry, are going to be to take a box of clothing and sundries over to the place that accepts them and pick up from the cleaners. I'm very excited about this. My beloved polar police jacket, the zipper had broken, and it turns out it's just the con little canaver that slides up and down the teeth. The teeth were fine, so she was able to replace the zipper without having to take all the stitching out. So, Yahoo, that'll be today. Um, and then a Facebook post relative to Rick, there's a, a photograph of a woman with a crack. Uh, you know, the plastic shoes with holes in them, and she has threaded a dowel rod through the toes and put her yarn on the dowel, and so as she pulls the cord to continue knitting, it spins and unravel, unrolls rather than unravels. Anyone who's ever taken yarn off a chain knows if you get the wrong thread, it's perilous. So it is pretty hilarious. I'm pretty sure that she's past that stage by now. So also, Dave, uh, your call, your call, Green Bay Dave, DK, um, we have not properly welcomed you. Um, everybody in Green Bay knows you, but I don't. Um, who are you? Where did you come from? Where did you move? <laughs> what do you do? Are you, are you still doing it? Did you retire? Um, more importantly, the reason I ask is you want to be on the mailing list of all of the Today, Tom. Uh, so just let me know on a second round comment. And so with that, over to Brad, K9 UCE. Good morning.
Yeah, other than that. That'll send it back to Tech Control, KC9, LN, Zulu, KB9, TBA. I don't think there was anybody behind him. Good morning, Tom. Yes, sir, and yes, it does. KC9, LN, Zulu. All right, I will pause now for any late check in. Any late check in. Please come down. Yeah, yeah. And, and just like 
And I've got a number of errands to run, so I'll be listening on my mobile radio. So uh, everybody have a good one. Take care. And the sun is starting to come out pretty good, so I'm glad to see that. Kilo Charlie 9, Lima, November Zoo, closing the net. Good morning to all. Okay, let's see if the AWRL is working today. 